Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, we're going to cover how to install the UC100 USB motion controller from CNC Drive. So what you're first going to want to do is come down to your internet browser and you want to type in cncdrive.com. It's going to bring you to this web page right here, CNC Drive motion controls. You're then going to want to click on products and you're going to want to scroll down to the UC100 USB motion controller and click on it. And the first thing I want to make you guys all aware, as you can see here in red text, it says, be aware that counterfeit fake UC100 motion controllers are sold on eBay, Alibaba, Banggood, and Amazon. Guys, please buy from a reputable dealer. I only deal in genuine products. And uh, again, there are many vendors out there that only deal in genuine products. But when you find the units at a really ridiculous price, be careful because odds are they're a knockoff. That being said, you can see here you've got downloads for the product, product manual, automatic installer, plug-in for Mach 3, plug-in for Mach 4, USB drivers for manual installation, software pre-requirements. Um, the, really, the only thing you're going to really need is part two right here under general installations. Um, if you are familiar with more advanced installations, you can definitely come down here and do what you need to do as far as installing a plug-in or a plug-in for Mach 4. Um, but in general um, terms, this is usually all you require unless you have Mach 4, where you will, where you will actually require a plug-in. So what you want to do is click on the UC100 automatic installer. You can see I'm running Windows 10 on my laptop, and I'm going to click that little down arrow right there, or it was up and now it's down, and now I'm going to click open when done. should open up the setup exe as soon as it's been downloaded and it did we're going to click on yes and you can see we're extracting our files to the temporary folder and the setup exe we just let it run its course okay select which software to make the installation for now i'm using mach 3 if you're using mach 4 naturally select that Okay, first thing to pay attention to, supported operating systems with a WHQL certifi certification. Um, this, the certification at WHQL certifies that it's been tested and verified with the Windows operating systems you see here, which covers basically everything. Um, so what you're going to want to do next is select the products you want to install. Of course, we're only doing a UC100. There's no point in bloating the system with XX drivers. So what you want to do is just unclick whatever else you're not installing. If you did, however, have other CNC products as far as from CNC Drive, you could naturally go ahead and install those drivers now as well. So right now you can see steps of installation. It's selecting only the UC100 drivers and the UC100 plugin. Of course, it says operating system detected, Windows 8 64-bit. Don't let that confuse you. Naturally, we're running Windows 10 on this PC. Um, the architecture, architecture excuse me, is the same. Therefore, it's detecting it as Windows 8. Click on Start Installation. You can see here it says, welcome to the device driver installation wizard. It automatically popped up. I click next. Now you can see these green check marks, which symbolize that the drivers are now installed. Click finish. She's going to continue with the, the rest of the installation. Nothing for you to do. Installation finished. Exit the application and plug the device for the PC's USB Ethernet port and select the drivers automatically if asked by Windows. Well, guys, typically you don't have that happen, and I actually have the UC100 right now plugged into my controller, but the controller is off and it is plugged into the PC. It's totally up to you to install it with it unplugged from the controller or unplugged from the PC. It will work either way generally. If you do run into an issue, you just would naturally reinstall it again. So now we're going to click exit because everything is completed. And the one thing I want to make sure that you guys can see with me, I'm just going to come over here to the user's manual, scroll down. I want you to pay attention to the back of the unit because once you plug in the back of the unit, you're going to find that when the unit is actually plugged in and the drivers are properly installed, you will have two LEDs on the back of the unit. You're going to have a green LED and a blue LED. If you only have a green LED, it means your unit's only getting power. If you have the blue LED, it means that the unit is communicating between Mach 3, and that's what we want to make sure, that they're both illuminated. If you only get one LED, you'll have to go through the installation again. So pay very close attention to that. Okay, so let's get out of this. And now all we're going to do is go into Mach 3. 
and it's asking me, and of course you can see here I already have it selected, the UC100 uh, CNC motion controller. And again, you can select your normal print-to-port operation if you are running the system um, bilateral in the sense that you are running with both. Some guys will run uh, parallel port one day and then, you know, for whatever reason, use the CNC uh, UC100 another day. So just pay close attention to what you're selecting here. Make sure it is checked. Um, I have my controller off right now. If it gets louder, you're going to hear me turn the controller on so we can actually reset the e-stop. So I'm going to click OK. Now you can see here it says UC100 start. If I go to select or reset, you're going to notice yourself you cannot do that with your controller off. So I'm going to power on the controller. It's going to get quite loud. Now I'm going to hit reset. Now if you guys do encounter that you cannot reset the e-stop button, come over to your input signals. Scroll down. And you want to come over to your e-stop. Make sure it's on port 1 and pin 15. Active load does not need to be selected. Once that's done, click OK. And you should now be able to hit the, actually reset the e-stop on the screen, as well as when you depress the physical switch on the controller, you see it triggered the e-stop on the screen. I cannot reset this until I physically reset the switch on the controller. Now I'm all set there, and now I'm good to go. So now what we want to do is just check our config for general motion. We're going to go to motor outputs. And for the G540, step pin is 2-3, and that's for X. Y axis is 4-5, and Z axis 6-7, A axis 8-9. Now, of course, your step pin, just go in sequence, 2, 3 to direction, 4, step, 5 direction, 6 step, 7 direction, 8 step, 9 direction, and you can see it just as a pattern, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Once again, you're all set with this. Okay. So then we're going to click OK. This is for just general motion. There are um, extra settings you can put in here if you want to control relays, spindles, and whatnot. That's in my other video uh, where I actually configure the G540 completely for Mach 3, but this will just get your system motion up and running and of course the UC100 installed. So once that's all set, you'll have to come over here and we'll click on reset. And I can already see that I've got motion. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but my Y axis is of course jogging and I'm all set. Now I just powered down the system and you can see I triggered my reset. So again guys, I hope the video has been helpful. Very quick, very smooth operation. If you do run into any hiccups, once again, um, just uninstall everything and start over. I have guys that panic. Don't panic. It's very, very simple to do. The big thing here is just take your time. Go through each sequence and each step just as I do it. Watch the video in sequence as you're doing it, and you should be fine. Once again, guys, thank you all for your support. Take care.